lot that we still don't know about the shooter in Georgia who tragically killed eight people at a massage parlor on Tuesday. But it increasingly seems that the early claims that race was not a motivating factor mm -hmm. for the shooter. Those claims appear to be falling apart, including based on some new witness testimony given to a South Korean newspaper that has been covering the story. So to catch everybody up, this it's pretty bad. South Korean newspaper. Yes, it's pretty bad when your evidence is so far out there that even the mainstream media, which is so desperate to push the race. I know there, I was thinking the same thing. I was thinking the exact same thing. Yeah, won't even report on it because it's so like not confirmable whatsoever. Right. Yeah. Yes. So you've got the community that basically had all the people killed. Obviously, they're not going to be a unbiased source. They have a dog right. in this fight. Uh, right. looks like the claim that he's racist, uh, that he's not a racist motivated person, was destroyed by the National Enquirer's latest issue. <laughs> <laughs> the, the National Enquirer in a different country than the incident actually occurred. Yes. So take that, bigots. Checkmate. Hold, hold on. Was it? I thought it was like a local South Korean paper, but it's not even that. It's like in actually in South Korea. Is that <laughs> what's South happening Korea. here? Yeah. No, <laughs> really? Is, yeah, I think so. I think. Oh so. my I'll goodness. look it up. I'm pretty yeah. sure it was a like a South. It wasn't a South like in South Korean, but I sometimes mean, in here the in language Los of Angeles, South Korea, but was American. No. According to the sometimes Cambodian here newspaper. In, sometimes here in Los Angeles, like they'll have Koreatown will have its own little newspaper. Right. Right. Chinatown will have its own little newspaper. So they're usually just local stuff that's going on in the community. So I thought it might be one of those type of papers, but it maybe it's a big paper in South Korea. There you go. David Packman, you're supposed to tell male. us this. He is here. alive. He was taken into custody on Tuesday after this horrific shooting at a massage parlor in Georgia that left at last count eight dead and one injured. And police have had a chance to interview him. This doesn't always happen in these situations where the shooter either at their own hand or at that of the police. Uh See, he, so he sounds super disappointed that they had a chance to interview him. He's like, <laughs> oh, when man. they kill themselves, we can just run wild with the narrative. Right. But now this he's alive, guy, he can oh our my narrative. God. He's alive. He can discredit our narrative now. I, I like uh, how they always say that. Uh, I, I know the, whole, the shooting was horrific, but I love it was like the, they try to emphasize it by saying it over and over again. Like, yeah, it's a shooting. It's a When are you going to say, oh, it's a, it's a del delightful shooting. I mean, <laughs> delightful shooting occurred. Yeah. Like, when does that ever happen? No, they, they're all horrific, out. but I, I know they're all horrific, but it's just kind of funny. They all say that. They all say that, and they all emphasize it. It's like, when you so, say that, we give that little descriptor at the beginning. It's like, okay, well, this was a particularly horrific shooting. Give me an example of like a, a delightful one, I guess, or something. I, that's kind of, now that you mention it, <laughs> you set that out there. The, the newspaper is called the Chosun Libo mm -hmm. or Ilbo, and it is a newspaper in South Korea. It's oh the oldest God. daily newspaper in South Korea. Oh According to South God. Korean newspaper, okay. this American news story. <laughs> well, they're they're probably they're probably reporting it because those people are South Korean immigrants. So they're like, yeah, makes sense. Totally makes sense. Yep. But in the paper, are they blaming racism on the South Korean community? Or are they just saying, hey, these were you know people from our homeland? I mean, no, if, if eight Americans were killed in a different country, obviously we would report, you know, eight Americans in some nation were all, targeted. All it says is there's an unnamed witness mm -hmm. who was supposedly an employee who survived the shooting, mm -hmm. said that he heard the suspect say that he would kill all Asians out loud. Oh, really? Supposedly. Yeah. This unnamed witness. So That's a that, tough... That's, yeah. That's a that, tough, I mean, uh, well, but here, here's, here's why this is to me. So is it recorded? Obviously, <laughs> this, is why, this is why I know this is obviously bullshit. Okay. The media is so desperate, so hungry to, to mm -hmm. cast this guy as, as being racially motivated that if they could find a single witness to interview who claimed to hear this, they would be broadcasting this 24-7. Yeah. They wouldn't even care if it could be remotely true. They would just say, oh, we have a witness who said he heard this. We have a witness who said he heard this. And Trump you know, inspires in. mass shooting yes. against Asians. Exactly. That, would be, that would be all over the place for yep. weeks on end. Do you think they dug into this guy? The mainstream media dug in and found zero credibility, and that's why they I think they can't the find this person. That's what I oh, think. Okay. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> 
it's on, I got you. It's on 4chan. They, you know they'd be like offering a huge amount of money f- yes. for this guy to step forward, obviously. Uh, often will dead. Not the case here. Police speak to the shooter and the initial belief by many was this was clearly an anti Asian hate crime. This was an individual targeting Asian individuals. But then it wasn't so clear. And um, it 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 could be partially that and partially what they are describing as sex addiction, which is the point for David to match the background. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally. He wants that's like camouflage. That's his camo shirt. He wants to blend in. Yeah, he's he's got a plaid white and blue background with a plaid white and blue shirt. I don't know. He got. uh, I I'm. I can't remember the guy that showed him how to how to do that. The majority report guy. Who is that? Sam Cedar. Sam Cedar. Yeah. He yes. Sam Cedar showed him how to do his background. It's very close to Sam Cedar's background. It's pretty hilarious. Hearing in someone who's involuntarily celibate. Um, but the point is, I he's have also an incel now. Yeah, yeah. He's an incel now. Tim. I'm backing Sex up a little. Ind- but then it wasn't so clear. And um, it it. It could be partially that and partially what they are describing as sex addiction, which I, I'm hearing incel as someone who's involuntarily celibate. <laughs> well, I was curious about that. Is, you, is he an incel or? Wait a minute. How sex in addiction. what world? How is it even possible to be an involuntary cel- celibate person if you're paying people for sex? That's what. Well, that's because you're in. That's the opposite. Celibate. But <laughs> well, you that's want most that. most in I, most incels want a girlfriend though. They don't want to be yeah, paying women you for can't sex. Be involuntarily involuntary celibate means you're not having sex. Yeah, that's what the mm-hmm. word celibate means. It means you yeah. want to, but you can't. Uh, right. You don't if have your money or whatever it is. I guess if you're paying someone to have sex with you, you are not celibate. <laughs> <laughs> right, you know but you are you mean? are involuntary involuntarily so that if you have to pay somebody. No, you're not, Adam. Yeah, you are. No, <laughs> I'm, you're. I'm not. Sorry. No. I'm sorry. If you can't, if you can't, <laughs> if you can't trick a woman into bed, on without uh without using money, <laughs> you definitely you're voluntarily celebrate. No, you are incorrect. This is easy for you, since you have women throwing themselves at you all the definitionally, time. Definitionally. If you are paying for sex, you are not celibate by its definition. Okay. True. Okay. Right. So if you're paying someone for sex, you're mm. not an incel by definition. Well, hold on a second. You're just, you just finished up. Okay. You just paid someone. You just busted your nut. <laughs> you're hungry for more. Okay. But okay. you're out of money. Now you're an incel. <laughs> <laughs> I just. There you go. It's a, it's a transitory property that shifts from minute to minute, whether you're an insult or not. Well, it does. Technically, the insults so, talk about this stuff. They I talk see. about so, how you got to like, there's different levels of incel. There's like gotcha. location cell. There's, you don't know these? Gotcha. How come so, I'm the so, only one that knows this? So, so you could be in a relationship with someone where you have sex with them every day, but if they don't want to have sex with you twice a day, technically you're an incel for the time period in between <laughs> sex. For like three hours or something. True, <laughs> true. Three many, hours a day, many, I'm an incel. <laughs> but after that, many married people are incels. Thankfully, I'm not one of them. Mm-hmm. Many, many, many married people are no, incels. No, that, that's a, okay, but that's a different situation. The Jesse Lee Peterson did an, an interview. Oh. No, Jesse Lee. Come on, that guy's like 75, but I'm sure he throws down like three uh. times a day. Je- Jesse Lee Peterson did an interview with an incel that most of the information I'm talking about is in that interview, which is a pretty, a pretty good interview if you want to look into it. So Mm -hmm. he goes into the different types of incels, all kinds of different stuff that just blew my mind. So anyway, I think they they were painted in a, in a very bad light, the worst light possible with those, with the ones that actually became like killers and stuff. So that from though, from those examples, this is why we get the every every time there's a serial killer out there, it's like, oh, he's got to be an incel. That's why they call you incel on the internet if you don't like the Last Jedi or something. It's to, to paint you in a ne- very negative light, and because you're just angry and hateful of women because women don't pay attention to you or something like that. That's why they call you an incel for hating Ray or whatever. 
because uh, it's not just you you can't uh, you're just a loser anymore it's just you, it's an incel now because that, that has, comes with the implication that you are a potential murderer <laughs> well, it's and it's so funny too because it's so misogynistic that all these women and are labeling men incels as an insult when they're basically I mean, these are supposed to be the feminist women who are like yeah. oh you know we want to be elevated above being a sex object and then they're literally devaluing men based on whether they have sex or not in the eyes of in the eyes of feminists women are sex objects if it's convenient for them right do, it's, do, but it's this goes back to this goes back to the Jordan Peterson stuff that we were talking about. Women civilized men. You think if this guy was in a serious relationship with a girl he loved, he'd be shooting up massage parlors? Well, I, I don't... I tend to think no, not. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This guy actually supposedly had a girlfriend, and she broke up with him because he kept going to the massage parlors. Yeah. Oh, wow. Bury the lead, Sitch. So that's an important piece of no, information. What, what are you doing? This guy has a mental let's, illness, let's, obviously. Let's... <laughs> let's, uh, let's here, Sitch, what other information are you but pulling Pac-Man from didn't us? Know that like, gee, obviously, you've read some articles on this. I Give did. us the backstory on this guy. Come on. Well, come on. How come this Pac-Man guy didn't not, know that? Not the little trickle of information here. Like, tell us what's going it's on. It's better this way, because I'll let you say something that's wrong. No. <laughs> no, it's not. Everyone wants to know the lowdown. <laughs> we want to know about this guy. Come on, I'm working, I'm working on a comic <laughs> 10 hours a day. I don't have time to read about... <laughs> I don't have time to read about this. Like, is he an incel? Is he not an incel? Come on. So this Pac-Man guy is supposed to be talking from a a place of authority, but apparently he either doesn't know the full story or doesn't know what an incel is. Well, but he just said involuntary celibate. He said what it means so, right after. So he's lying. He doesn't know the full story then. because he's not. So he's not a real journalist. Well, but, he's like one of those fake guys on the internet. So he's I not an incel. He he, so hold is. on. He has a girlfriend. The girlfriend breaks up because he's cheating all the time with hookers. Exactly. Like, <laughs> okay. Now I'm, I'm seeing a clear picture of what's going on here. He's like, oh, my God. Sex addiction destroyed the only like real relationship I had in my life. Yes. Ready yeah. to go. Well, I don't yeah, know how so... long ago this happened. I don't, I don't remember if it said the time frame. So. Uh, for yeah. those of you who, out there who might be watching my videos, that's what a character fall looks like. Yeah, yes. that's a, that's like a giant character flaw. Do not put that in the beginning of your movie, though, because it is going to be impossible for anyone to like this character. It's just, I just couldn't, I saw this and I, my jaw dropped. I'm like, he's like a guy who was a sex addict, sex addict, was also an incel. And you're like, what? What yeah. the fuck are you yeah. talking about? Do you, do you hear the words that are coming out of your mouth? <laughs> like, yeah, it doesn't roll even, that back for a second. <laughs> like, if you, if you could say you could say someone has a porn addiction is an insult, mm-hmm. right? You could well, that's what that. I thought the that situation be true, yeah. was because my friendly co-host here has been bearing the lead. Well, no, because because the, <laughs> for the two what, hours what, now. What, what what the the shooter said, and what has been assumed was that he went to places that he went and got some sort of sexual activity or some sort of sex act on, you know, whether it's hand job or sex or whatever. Mm-hmm. So obviously he's not an incel at that point. Yeah. Uh, Moreland Moore for 10 plutoniums says, so everyone who pays for a date is an incel. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so, Hold on. Eric, Eric makes is... an interesting point in the chat. He says maybe his girlfriend didn't want to have sex with him, and that's why he went for a happy ending parlor. Who knows? This is, this is the police. This is the things that the police are getting the information for. This is what the police are figuring out. So we'll Pac-Man have to read is, the police is, report. It sounds like it might be juicy. So this Pac-Man guy is reporting on this issue without apparently knowing the full story or choosing to uh, omit some things to make the situation look worse to match his narrative. Hmm. Yeah, that's what the they always do. The guy whose job it is to uh, congregate you. news and then inform you about it. Inform yes. you. Yeah. And like in, air right. quotes. It's inform uninformed. you. <laughs> slash propagandize you. It's crazy. The blind leading the blind situation over here. <laughs> 